Why is the ferry here today? You told me to book him. Freya needs new shoes. <laughs> Not that urgently. You know I've got my private doctor coming out later. I know. Try not to worry. It'll all be fine. I'm sure you haven't got dementia. Look, I know you're trying to help. But you can't possibly know that. You know how many stupid mistakes I've been making. Yeah, but I just I have a really good feeling about this. You're going to get the all clear. So, yeah, anyway, Will was here so he can sort out the ferry. Yeah? Problem? No, shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but bite my head off, why don't you? You don't need to lurk anymore, Detective Dingle. You're no longer undercover. You can just ask me what I'm doing. So, what did you tell Jamie? Nothing. Good. And is he still suspicious of me? Depends. What were we up to? Well, no good. Obs. Saw you checking your banking app. I've got the same one. Ah, well, don't tell Kim. She'll probably lecture me about my work-work balance. <laughs> But, you know, I know what I'd rather be doing right now. <laughs> what? Drinking orange juice and lemonade. What did you think I meant? I could have a gold one. Been chopping wood all morning. With an axe. Cool. I was talking about doing some axe-throwing classes up at the hop. I've done that before. No way, really. I, I beat Kane. He was fuming. Yeah, I bet. I can show you if you want. Well, isn't that a bit dangerous? Not if we're careful. Busy, are you, Noah? I'm on my break. Noah was just offering to show me how to throw an axe. Who knows? Might come in handy one day. So, what did the doctor say? Kim, what did she say? Was it, was it bad news or...? Oh, my God. Huh? Why are you upset? What's wrong? She's not. She's, she's just tired. Will you go make her a cup of coffee? Mum. The doctor came. Did some cognitive tests. I'm sorry, cognitive? Why? Kim, Kim, you're fine. OK, like you said, no point in worrying him. Shut up, Gabby. It was a dementia test. But I passed. Believe it, are you sure you're OK? There's nothing wrong with you. Well, I've definitely not got dementia. But something's clearly not right, so they're... Running some more tests. Well, what kind of tests? Routine. B12, thyroid. She said she'd get to the bottom of it, so stop worrying. And, and why am I the last to know? I didn't want to worry you unnecessarily. I mean, <laughs> look at the state you're in. And that's when it's good news. So you told her before me? Listen, she was scared, OK? She needed my support. Oh, of course. You're a new best friend, aren't you? She can trust you with anything, right? You should have come to me first, Mum. I'm your son. It's my job to look after you, not hers. And why on earth would you think it was dementia? Well, her dad died of Alzheimer's like mine. Ah, so you put it in her head. Well, of course not. Why would she do that? Ask Gabby. She did it because she's playing you. Lying to you all this time, letting you think you're ill. <laughs> no, you've got it wrong. I made a few mistakes at work, some stupid accounting errors. Gabby was actually helping me put it right. No, she let you think that because it suited her. It suited her how? Why would she do that? To steal money off you. 
She let you believe you were confused to cover her tracks. How? How could you let her believe that she was losing her mind? Kim, look, you have to believe me. I, I don't know why he's saying all that. He's lying. Jamie, you've got it wrong. <laughs> she was double-checking everything and covering up for my genuine mistakes. Noah saw her accessing the hot bank account, transferring money into her current account. Today. Ring the bank. Ask them if you don't believe me. Kim, it's true. I did it. Kim, I am so sorry. You know, I was genuinely putting some of the money back earlier, I swear. Oh, give it up, Gabby. Mum's not going to believe the waterworks any more than I am. I can't believe you could be so heinous. I didn't plan it that way. You know, but when you accused me of stealing, I just... I, I panicked. You knew what I'd been through with my father. You empathised because you've been through the same thing. That is what's so unforgivable. I know, I know. You used my fear to put me off the scent. I have been through hell because of you. I knew it was wrong and I hated myself, but I just... I didn't know how to get out of it. You could have fessed up at any time. I couldn't risk it. I knew you'd never forgive me if you found out. So what was the plan? I don't know, just pay the money back. Oh. But keep the designer wardrobe. Oh, I, I don't even know why I bought all this. I'm just, I was just in such a mess. It was calculated and cruel. Oh, you know what? Like you're so squeaky clean. Getting Noah to spy on me. With good reason, as it turns out. But I'll admit, it did lack the ambition of your crime. Kim, look, I admit I got tempted and I stole that money. But once the enormity of what I'd done dawned on me, I genuinely didn't know what to do. <laughs> so you thought, I'll gaslight Kim. Make her think that she's gone senile or, or mad. What would your father say? Kim, Kim, please don't call the police. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't have you arrested. <sighs> Kim, please. You've got to believe me, all right? I, I, the last thing I wanted to do was hurt you. So why betray me in the worst possible way? It was an evil thing to do. But as soon as I'd done it, I, I saw how scared you were and I tried to put it right. I'm just so, so sorry. <laughs> sorry you're going down for it. I am carrying your child. Yeah, well, nobody wants their kid born in prison. But on this occasion, I think I'll make an exception. Please, Kim, I can't go to prison. I can't. No. You'd never survive in there. So, I won't call the police. But only because I don't want to see my grandchild born inside. Oh, my God, Kim. I am... Thank you so much. Pack your things. Go back to Laurel's. You don't deserve her compassion. You disgust me. Oh, shut up! You know, this is all your fault. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You drove me to this. You made it very clear you don't give a stuff about this baby. So this is my fault now? I'm not justifying my actions, OK? I can't. But I just want a guarantee of financial stability for me and the baby. In case he got his way and drove me out. You weren't saving for my grandchild's future, were you? You were spending it on expensive dresses and designer shoes and handbags. Well, you were the one that told me you don't get given anything in life and you have to take it. Yes. But you also need to be smart enough not to get caught. Now get out. Before I change my mind again, have you locked up? Me. What, what did you think was going to happen between us? Did we start dating? I'm pregnant, you idiot. Get over yourself. 
like I'd ever fancy you. Well, clearly not, because you wouldn't have grasped me up otherwise. But anyway, you go ahead and trust that snake, Jamie. See how that works out for you. Kim liked you, and you blew it, and now you're out for good. Suck it up. No. No, this isn't over. Once Kim's heard what I've got to say, I'll be back. And Jamie will be the one who's sucking it up. Did Laurel throw you out too? I couldn't face telling her yet. Not my problem. Get out. No. You're going to listen to me. I did take that money for me and the baby. Yes, I went on a bit of a spending spree, but I think that was the guilt. Because I knew right away that I'd blown it with you. You could have come to me with your fears about the baby. Or just come clean about taking the money. Yes, and I wish I did. Because I am so gutted that I've hurt you. <laughs> You're just worried Jamie will change my mind about involving the police. <gasps> no, you go ahead. You call them, because it won't change what I've got to say. And I don't expect you to believe me, because why would you? You know, I hate myself right now, so God knows what you must think. But I need you to know that what I did, it was all about me. It was not a reflection on you. You have been nothing but kind to me, Kim. Like a, a second mum. And yet you preyed on my worst fears. You fueled my paranoia about my health. I could not forgive that. Well, I didn't come here asking for forgiveness. You just need to know the real reason I did it. I used your worry about dementia to cover my tracks in that moment. I could not believe that I'd gone there. But it... It just snowballed. And the fact that my dad died of it should have stopped me. Not given me the idea to use it. My dad was my rock. No matter how flaky mum was, I know that he'd always be there for me. And then one day, you know, he started disappearing. Bit by bit. My one security blanket, and I was losing him. I just knew, you know, if that ever happened to you, if you got ill or, or worse, Jamie had cut me off. He'd leave me penniless. And Kim, I know I should have come to you and been honest about all of this. But I thought I could fix it. <sighs> Too clever for my own good. Only, well, I'm not. No. But I need to be able to trust people in my inner circle. Go upstairs to bed. Yes, you can stay. Thank you, Kim. I will never let you down again. Oh, I know you won't. Because I'll be watching you. 